Hi, I'm Jake. Build his true enemy. If you are new to After Effects, don't be intimidated. I'll try to be descriptive so it would be easier to follow along. This is why this tutorial is a bit longer than others. So believe in yourself and let's get started. In this tutorial I'll show you how to rotoscope yourself using Rata Brush. Also we will create our own lightsaber, which is quite fun. What can be cooler than this? Well of course, we will cut a person with it, just by changing few settings. And finally we will create a flame looking effect all inside of After Effects. Are you excited? All this footage you can download from link in description to this video. Or you can film your own footage like mine where you sit on chair. Also would be cool if someone could use some sort of flashlight with blue tint on it, it will make effect look better. Then you need to act like lightsaber is hurting you and you need to start motion like you falling down. As you can see you also need a clean video, I just mix them together using basic transition. Drag your footage on this icon to create new composition. Then you also need a footage where you fallen in front of the chair. Just make sure that camera can't see your legs. It must be easier for PewDiePie. Let's drag this footage into our scene also. Then we need to find the moment where fallen motion starts and drag our other video to this point on timeline. Using rotor brush and also by left double mouse clicking on the layer, we get this green cursor. With this cursor we draw whatever we want to have in the footage. And by holding Alt key on keyboard, we can deselect parts which we don't want. As you can see, when cursor is green, we add in parts. And with red cursor, we removing parts of the image. I'll speed up this process. As you can see, our goal is only to have top part of ourselves and remove bottom. But also make sure to keep shadows from top part of the body. Once you finish this process which is called rotoscoping, you need to click on this freeze button to save result. Now we can click on selection tool to go back to our main composition. We need to make sure that our edges look better. For this you need to play with values of feather and contrast. You can copy my values, but the goal is just to have soft edges. You can experiment to get values which works best for your footage. It's good if you fell on floor rapidly, because now we can enable use motion blur and increase shutter angle to get even more soft edges. I'll set mine to 250. Now let's precompose this layer, go to layer, precompose and click on move all attributes. In this way After Effects will see this layer as rendered footage with no effects. Then let's cut this precomp to a moment where our footage starts. And then find the moment where you already laying on the floor with no movement. Right mouse click on layer and go to time, enable time remapping. Create a keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch here. It will remember that frame and delete the last frame. In this way we making sure that person will not move on the floor. Now we need to have bottom part of ourselves. For this we will duplicate original footage by pressing Ctrl D on keyboard. Then at the beginning of the video right mouse click on the layer and go to time freeze frame. Now using pen tool we can mask out only our legs. You can use scroll on the mouse to zoom in and zoom out out of the frame. Just left mouse click to set a new point and hold it if you want to create a curve. Don't forget to keep shadows also. And finally, close the mask by clicking on very first point. Then cut legs layer to transition moment like I did. To rename layer press return on keyboard. We also need to go to effect color correction curves to match colors. You can choose channels, in my case I need more blue in blue channel, less red and a bit of green in green channel. Now we have this rough cut between footage and we are going to hide it with lightsaber and a bit of clever transition. This lightsaber you can also download from description below, drag it into our composition, right mouse click on lightsaber and go to transform, flip horizontal. Press R to change rotation and press S to change the scale. We can put it here and press P to animate position. Create a keyframe by pressing on stopwatch so After Effects would remember position of it in this point in time. And then at the beginning let's move it wherever you want, like force is making it to levitate. In my case I'll make it levitate from ceiling, because nothing good is coming from ceiling gang. We can select less keyframe and press F9, so motion of moving will come to a smooth stop. Now let's go to layer, new, solid. 
and call it Saber because this plugin we will use. Link to this free plugin will be in the description below to this video. Once you install it, you'll find it in effect video copilot Saber. If you see this plugin for the first time, I bet you're impressed already. Click on modes to change our Saber layer to add mode. And by clicking on this target next to course start, you can set it to our lay Saber image. And also with the core end, you can set the size of our lay Saber. Just make sure that these two values matches, then your Saber will be parallel to the floor. With end offset value, we can animate our lay Saber. So let's set it to zero. Create a keyframe and in time where light is on, set value to 100. You can press U on keyboard to see our keyframes, to adjust the timing if you need. And then using Pickwhip, attach our Saber light to light Saber. Now light is following our Saber, just like you could follow me on Instagram. My nickname at top right corner of your screen. Now select Saber image and press P and hold Shift. Then press S to animate position and scale. For this we need to create a keyframe for both of them. You can select keyframe and press F9 to make animation soft. And couple of frames later we need to make size a lot bigger, as well as change position like it's flying towards us. You can adjust timing of keyframes to make sure that this flying saber will hide our transition as much as possible. Also you can select keyframes and hold control and left mouse click on them to make animation linear. We need to select these two keyframes and go to graph editor to make our motion slow at start by dragging these handles so it would look more dramatic while going through the body. Make adjustments to keyframes to make sure that motion looks nice. Bring keyframes more together if you feel like Saber is flying too slow. Also you'll find this hand footage which I've used for this effect. You can place it like it's catching the lightsaber, but it's not necessary. You can just animate like lightsaber flying above and out of the frame. And then film next scene in which someone will catch it. It's up to you. But since I have this hand footage, I'll leave it and you can leave it as well. Now let's make transition look a bit cleaner. For this you need to choose top part layer and choose rectangle tool. At the start of the layer, draw a rectangle across lightsaber like I did. Then open mask properties and create a keyframe to mask path. Few frames later, with our mask, we can reveal top part of our body by choosing bottom point and expanding the mask. And finally, you can press F on keyboard and add a bit of feather to soften the edge. Please keep watching the video, you're doing great. Now we will create cutting through body animation and create flames. So select our saber layer and using pen tool we need to create a mask to put our body on top of the lightsaber like this. In effect controls and in render settings change alpha mode to mask core. Then press M on keyboard to see our mask and click on inverted checkbox. I don't want to make this tutorial even longer by explaining how to make flares on points of contact because I feel like it's not that necessary. So I'll just simply give you a quick guidance in case you're wondering. I've created a layer, then applied the lens flare effect, moved it to the center and set it to 105mm prime preset. Then added blur to have just a bright dot. Using curves I've added contrast as well as blue tint. And finally I've changed mode to add. Scale it down and put to a point of contact. As well as duplicate it and put to a second point. So that's how you create three basic contact points. Now let's duplicate Saber layer, press M and click on inverted checkbox. We will animate core size to have this look like Saber is going through the body. Create a keyframe with value of 0 and few frames later set it to original, in my case it's 3. You can also click on these icons next to the Saber layers to add motion blur. Now we have this pretty cool animation and we need to fix few minor details. Also I want to create an adjustment layer, go to layer, new adjustment layer. Make sure to place it below of lightsaber. We will add blur effect to it, to simulate like focus of our camera follows lightsaber. So at the moment of transition set a keyframe, and few frames later set blur to 7. As well as click on repeat edges checkbox. Now we have this done, we need to give it a bit of contrast to the scene. So add curves effect to saber layer, and then draw a curve like this. Then copy this effect by pressing Ctrl C on keyboard and paste it to a second saber layer by pressing Ctrl V. Now it looks more intense, but you may notice that lightsaber has a cut in place of the mask. This is why we need to press M on keyboard while saber layer is selected 
and animate mask expansion from low to high value. Same keyframes of mask expansion you need to copy and paste to other saber layer. And finally, finally, let's create our fire. Create a new solid, drop a saber effect on it, change transfer mode to add and place start and the end point to our legs like this. Then change preset to fire and change core size to zero. Few frames later, after the light saber cut, create a keyframe. And second later, change value to 1.5 or value which looks good on your footage. Also drag it below our adjustment layer. I'll call it out of focus. You can also duplicate this fire layer and place it to top part of your body. Just make sure to place layer below of top part. Now we will create flames. In the movie itself there was sparks, but today I'm in the mood for the flames. Sparks maybe next time. Create a layer, then go to layer, precompose and call it flames. Open it and drop fractal noise effect. Fractal type set it to dynamic progressive. Add a bit of contrast by setting brightness to minus 68 and contrast to 275. And in sub settings rotate it until you'll get this kind of pattern or just simply set value to 214. In transform settings let's set scale to 300. Now we need to animate it, just hold alt key on keyboard and left mouse click on stopwatch. So now we can write expression, write time times 300. Also at the beginning of the layer set a keyframe to offset turbulence and at the end of the layer change second value to a lot smaller which will make flames go up. Then add turbulence displace effect and once again hold alt key on keyboard and left mouse click on evolution stopwatch. Write time times 100. Add curves effect and repeat each curve in each channel. These curves are representing colors of the fire. And finally, using rectangle tool, create a rectangle at the bottom of the screen. Press M twice on keyboard and set keyframe to a mask at the beginning of timeline and few frames later change mask like this. Press F on keyboard and increase the feather. As a result, we have this animation. Go back to our main composition, change mode of flames to add, press S on keyboard and make scale way smaller. Move flame layer on timeline so flame animation would start after saber cut and place it on top of the legs. Also make sure that it is under out of focus layer. You can also duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D on keyboard and place it to top part of yourself. But layer should be below of the top part layer. Also in fire layer you may want to go to distortion, core distortion and lower the speed of animation. And now. It's good time to support my channel by the links in description. Or just subscribe to my channel, leave a like and comment. Your support is very much appreciated. Thank you.